Hello all and welcome back to Coffee Talk. Now, I picked myself up and said, hey, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, there's only six days left. So I decided, well, I need to just get back into it. So I decided I'm just gonna do it. I don't care. And I'll probably enjoy it. But anyways, Tuesday, September 29th. Coachella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away, and the WHO vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally. Alright, let's start the day. I forgot all their voices. He really never changed. I know, but it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Keaton. I like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. But there's no harm in checking some other combinations. Alright. You know what to do. No, I do not. On God. I did make all of these last time, I know that. There it is. Tea, milk, ginger. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. And there we go. Try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? On God? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarfs. Not those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So I hailed a cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Classic me. Those dwarfs could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They want me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble he caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I could not refuse. It was in the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job. Especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans? Ah, I see. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? 
Well, he when he was working with me, I noticed hide. I prefer it if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about that. It's all right. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Must I say, something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a war veteran, werewolf, to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I, I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Uh, thank you for sharing your story with me. Very cool. I know. It is cool. Anyway. I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? No. Oh. That's not going to do a whole lot. Milk is... Not the answer. That's not the answer. Milk and lemon, I think. I believe this is what you would like. Sire. Latte art. I'm going to draw a lemon on it. Lemon. It's a great lemon. Yeah. 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 Lemon. Haha. <laughs> it's a wheel. It's a wheel now. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Invert. I I don't know what I'm doing. That's So what you get. Have fun. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. I know. Including the wheel, obviously. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something. Yeah, no Freya. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen her today. Yeah, speak of the devil. God damn it. Get out, woman. Leave. <laughs> Good to see you too. Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Rudely. But then you rudely interrupted our discussion about how much we hate you. Oh, really? Yes, we hate you. What about me? We just told you. I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. <laughs> I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. And you meet none of them. You... You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed me my draft. Why did I do this to myself? And I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. Why am I giving her Gala's voice? That's not what I meant to do. I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word for you. Actually, I'm not even sure what you would even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects their income. So you're a financial advisor. I also deal with patients and their families. But not actually advisor. That's not what I meant. You, you should know what I mean. If they require intensive care such as operations. Oh, so you're a financial advisor go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives, then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. 
Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. <laughs> Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyways. So it's professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You... He needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, that, that's a long time. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy, ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. I still get raises when I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's Gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you gonna stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks then, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, me. I'm just gonna ignore that. And you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. That's not good. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, on God? Man, I really missed an interesting story, didn't I? So how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Yeah. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Alright then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Dang, I wanted to hear the story again. Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this? A very physical job to... Medic. Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? <laughs> Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. Okay, now you're really pushing your limits. I won't get into details, but going to war. It messes with your head. Oh, you stupid. You d bro. You see why God doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. I told you, this isn't your thing. Stop worrying about it. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did what work uh, relied on his muscles. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? No, of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least that's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. And I needed his strength. But well, then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his... Problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone to seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. 
Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I've gotten no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... Oop. Person. Oh, hi, Neil. Good evening, everyone. Oh, boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We're also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with earthling efforts in an intergalactic exploration. Like Neil Armstrong, which is why he's wearing the suit. Oh, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles. Or more. More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away, indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw. When we first arrived. Image? I think he says it's by Jeremy Gen... Jeremy Andrew, or Jeremy Gendrew, whatever. Ah, oh, that... Yeah, there you go. The Jeremy Gendrew album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing... This place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yep. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything. Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you'll be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. If I'm right, it's milk, mint, and cinnamon. But there's literally no reason for me to not just check. Milk, honey, mint. Oops. Well, now you're going to get the taste of your lifetime. And I'm assuming this is for him, obviously. Let's see. I hope I got this one right. Thank you. What the fuck? Interesting. Before you ask. Yes, that's how they drink. Yes. What is this? We have never been able to taste anything in our life. But this. This. This is a breakthrough. We have to report immediately. Done. Thank you so much from all of our kind. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with a mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Sorry about that. I had to readjust my chair and it was being a pain. Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. We are 
We are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Aw, oh, man. Well, I believe it is all right to share it with you tonight. Thanks to this eye-opening drink from the barista. I owe you the story. So, why? Everyone, including us and you and everyone else, is tasked to keep the balance of the universe. But sometimes, it is hard for some civilizations to maintain balance by themselves. Because unknown threats that are beyond each civilization's power can appear. And that is where we come in. Mm, I still don't see the relation between that and impregnating us. <laughs> You're quite dense, aren't you? Hey! You came here to give seeds, so a half-breed of your kind can be born on Earth. That is correct. The half-breeds will be half-earthling and half-whatever you are. Yes. Assuming that you have some powers that we can't comprehend, we are trying to make sure Earth will have its own protector. That was 100% correct. Holy shit! You're trying to give us a superhero? Yes, that is what your people will call the protector. But why go through all the hassle? It sounds like a lot of work. Why not just explain this to someone? I'm sure a lot of women wouldn't mind giving birth to a surfer hero. Sadly, it is not that simple. The future protector has to be someone who loves this planet more than anything. They have to be born out of love. Which, we have learned, is a very complicated feeling on Earth. We have it easier back home due to the nature of our communication. We understand everyone deeply by default. So everyone on our planet loves each other from the moment they are born. It sounds beautiful. And creepy. Why? <laughs> it sounds like your plan is a giant spherical orgy. That was a badly chosen word. But it's roughly similar to the truth. Oh my. If what you say is true, shouldn't we help them to get laid with love? Guidance is all we need. Otherwise, we might be responsible for the birth of a super evil person instead. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further, if it got you a good story. <laughs> Eh, yeah, that's me. Oh, you're not offended by that. Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with him. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Well, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone if I'm with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that you either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let's just check them once again. This is this is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives? Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still play face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Not that you mention it. We don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people will still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought about your kind also love the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? 
First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, huh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You can start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am in fact single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now, the path to starting a date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely com extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. What would you do to mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So, we talked about using condoms. But how do your kind of sex, like, seeing how you drink? The condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that, but we cannot tell you the details, unless we agree to do the mating ritual. Ritual, I mean. Oops. Mating. Or not mating. Communication error. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. It will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Yeah, especially the mental part. We did our research. We tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that one. Anyway. Thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. You're off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I dare to think how that went. That was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, what was, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Frey was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. <laughs> oh. Well, it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. And that's the end of that day. But guess what? I said I would do it, and I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna mute my mic real quick. Huh. 
and this is it up. I said I would do it. And I'm gonna keep on going because I missed I don't know how many days now. I can try and check real quick. Okay, I checked that I missed five days. So I'm gonna do a few days and since there's only six days left, I think I might just do four. But it depends on how it goes. Anyways, continuing on. Wednesday, September 30th. Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. Protests arrive over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Interesting. Welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division. Or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Dude, hold on with the big words. It's really hard to speak fast with big words. Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's... Er... A pretty eye-catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact, contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Well, that happened. Whew. You don't need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Good evening, Keaton. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Muriel. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? You want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Green tea. Mint. Mint. You're gonna get this and you're gonna like it. Marakek. Your drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marakek, inspired by its origin. Marakek in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my. It's warm, but very refreshing. Yes, because there's mint in there, you dumbass. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Tataric. I know what you want. I, I remember. Yeah. Tea, tea and milk. I remember. Duh. I knew what you're making from the start. I didn't have to look it up or anything. Here's your Tataric. Am I saying that right? I, I don't think anyone would know. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Tataric you get in... Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um... How are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your team, We've made some good progress, but a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is... Even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. To make sure that the game will be available for the holiday season. There we go, sorry. 
Hmm. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Huh. As if those executives just care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know. The optional overtime is a passive aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. Hey, we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game going? Or how's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I... I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good, then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or... Uh, accommodation. Almost had an issue with that word. That's a it's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident... You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken. The judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People will know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say it's bad? What about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Hmm. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole time. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Hmm. So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, I'll come with you. And? No, you don't have to. Even if you're free, then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. 
I'll, I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but... I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> now what are you gonna show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Mmm, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what, uh, on what you, on what to have for the expo. I can, mm, do you have the game with you? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. I do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Hello, Miss Rachel. Thank God you're here. I was talking about video games. I'm not a gamer in the slightest. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day, and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Not the only one yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this later are... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. <laughs> yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Chocolate! That's not what you wanted. <laughs> Is this what you want? No. How do you make hot chocolate? I should have it. What am I doing? Or do I not? I should start with something like this. What? Am I missing it? I'm missing it. What? I'm so confused. Do you, do you just want chocolate? Oh, I'm gonna assume that this is good enough. Serve. Is this what you want, ma'am? I think it is what you ordered, Chief. You suck. No milk? It can't be that, though. It has to be sweet. Because milk chocolate. So chocolate, chocolate milk, maybe? No, that's not it. Try this one more time. No. Dang it. What is it? Add sweet to it. Cinnamon? Stop it. <laughs> I got an achievement. I'm assuming for throwing stuff away. No way. I mean, that's. I think that's too sweet, though. What do I do for you? You really confuse me. What if I just... Haha, uh -huh, I found it. Not by looking it up or anything. I would never do that. Obviously. 
Why would you ever look it up? That's... This isn't hot chocolate, man. Here's your drink, man. It's not hot chocolate. Oh, it looks very pretty. Just taste it. Yeah, it's warm and sweet. I love it. That's not hot chocolate. Don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? Hi, sweetie. After what you did at the studio this evening, what are you doing here? I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Well, we cannot just limit ourselves to this place. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Keaton. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? May I suggest a couple of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Milk and ginger, he said. That's not... There we go. I know I could just look it up in my thing, but I'm not gonna. There we go. That looks nice. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This tastes exquisite. Glad you liked it. Dad? Yes? Please let's go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He's not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since he left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars till they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. And so, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Okay, you can stop being a bitch. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me. Not you. No one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It'll take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester, I don't like that. That name is not nice. I don't like it. And he's at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See ya, Dad. Wait, Rachel.
Excuse me for a moment, Keaton. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What, you didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. None of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Mm, I gotta go. No, I was listening, I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. You know, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you wanna head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Keaton, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care on your way home. I God, now I have to clean that up. Hmm, I guess that's all for to Oh. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Do you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yeah? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Huh. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. And that's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl pans? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities and families. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you can possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. And it's more than enough for our little family. It's more than... <laughs> you said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? They visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you gonna be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Keaton. And sorry for bringing our flight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright, then goodbye.
espresso. Oh boy. Thursday, October 1st. Spooky. The moon also isn't full yet. So that's okay. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Coachella 2020. Gil Naiman and Maruki Harukami to collaborate for a new IP. And Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. Is that supposed to be the meme of the girl running away? Alright, continuing on. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There's definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. Blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it's not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthling we have learned, we learned them here. That made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. You know, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh. Let me think this over, if you don't mind. I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. But it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is it? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come here just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest that you leave them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well. That's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do a job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron though. To help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. We don't really need more differentiation. It will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. Alright then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. And we have Neil on our team. New team member. That's gonna do nothing. Welcome. Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Ken, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero. For alien invasion? Huh. <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You never look like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never conquering Earth. In fact, it's the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the Brisa. Not the other way around. What? We have learned something since we arrived and we came to a conclusion. 
before starting another breeding mission. We should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition, I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya? I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yeah. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other on the lift. And the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office later. And things went downhill from there. She realized immediately. That it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you gonna do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? <laughs> Hope that sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel that the immerse the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do, according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. Anything, you say? I want to make the bedchamber. You said anything, though, so, I mean... This is anything. Oh, I'm Neil. I had a little hand. Here's your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this sh coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I always wonder why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. Did... What? Was that a compliment or an insult? I'm gonna assume that was a hot drink, so that's a compliment. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. If I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the places, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. I had to sneeze real quick. Uh, I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. He was just... Neil? Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We were glad to hear that, then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that term. It's still very hard to understand your language. It'll always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number. But full time. I should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day. 
That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to my research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. <laughs> That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. This is pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Mm, I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it, it is GRA Media. The biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words... Do we want to have poetry? Oh, I skipped that. I didn't mean to skip that. Oh, no. Wait, isn't there a playback? Haha. <laughs> then we want to have poetry or short stories. Yeah, it's pretty hard to understand. But well, we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter. Even for earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a, fr a fascination for things that, which are hard to, hard to understand from languages to arts. <laughs> right again. If you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is a valid perimeter? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. Guess you really are learning something on Earth. Ooh, more person. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. What the hell is happening here? I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? <laughs> I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee, coffee. Ginger. This is what you asked for. Now your order is ready. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Oops. You know, some people come to the coffee shop just to sit here without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visit here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Huh? Pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Er... Oh. No, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Now yeah, that's a step in the right direction. No suggestion if you want to blend in with us. Stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try. Step by step. One small step for you, might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, was it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... When... What is this? What is happening here? Are you talking to the wedding of the Where's Keen? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Phew. Okay. Please let me take a breath. 
Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here, anyway? We're starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It's time for a break, anyway. So, here's the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Keaton. It's nothing, really. But do you think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Coachella. That's why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well... You're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We noticed that. We also noticed that we need to... We need to know a lot more about Earthlings. Including their breeding manners. This is what we will do, be doing a study at Coachella. After that, we will be ready to breed with so many female earthlings. Ah, you shouldn't say that. But hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us start talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Er, it's nothing, we're just friends, you know. We just wanted to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. You don't have that much experience in game development, you see? I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly. But she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But, wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be, you are, not your. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It's a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyways? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. Alright, so you are done with your game. There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix. But players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about pacing control and UI slash UX. If it must be fun to finish working on your creation. Should I remove some of the weight on my chest? Just replace it with another weight. I mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not even done with my book, I just lost my job. If I can't finish this draft in time, I'm done. And even after all that. If it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Sorry to hear that, Aqua. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. So I read some of your short stories, you know, after our first meeting. I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app, and I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. And some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them all. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. After what you're going through, it's more or less the same as what Merle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Hmm. So you don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. Sometimes I don't need to share any scaring, you know? Okay. 
Okay, thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. <laughs> Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although, it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. Those who do, don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a game every two years. Yeah. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under framed. Okay. Alright. I'm not with the paper anymore, anyways. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for the new ID. Or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Huh. That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful have got approved. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai. That's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. And when they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the seventh samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle. I just realized. What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. No wonder your soul burned out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is. I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after on. Well, where should I go? Don't worry. I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? That's not on this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey, okay. I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? Still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the other bus stop, just like last time. Oh. Okay, then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. God damn it, who's gonna clean up? Neil, you're cleaning that up. Okay, see you folks later. You waited an awfully long time to leave. <sighs> Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. I gotta finish this draft first. As we have said before. You can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. And please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still on the house. 
I definitely won't say no. Is that it first day? It is. Oh, we got, oh, it's a full moon. Full moon, guys. Oh, God. Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Today's the day, I assume. New healthier Fury sedative might be available sooner. Action video game Rising Hell, blame for violence in school. The Evening Whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. <laughs> See, talks about gun laws and stuff in this game. It also talked about the jobs and how hard they are. Also, it's a really weird game. Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Even. Am I the first customer of the night? You are. That's new. What would you do in there? Freya's not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow Raider friends. Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. Mario's gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? If she said they were friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were writer friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest tasks or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. No, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Yo, your face is just blank. Are you always so observant? I don't know why. It's part of the job. <laughs> why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others. But their body language can be loud and clear. They'll tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a friendly ear, or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So what are you reading from me now? I won't say. I... I would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now? Including our interaction now. Man, now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. Well then, what do you have tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. That was a good drink for a bitter heart. You said chocolate and cinnamon. Wait, what was it again? Ginger and cinnamon. I got this. Yeah. This is definitely whatever other person had. No, no, it's not. Oh, here you go. Hmm. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drinks. Says Keaton. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open up a coffee shop? <laughs> oh man, I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. What I should ask next? Oh damn, you dead. Holy shit, you gonna die. Hello everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? Right now? You look... Horrible. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, you do. No, I don't! Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah. You do. What happened? You better be asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be... Proper sleep. And decent progress on my draft. You need to rest. And to miss my deadline. Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. 
You sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep. Espresso. Please. No. Bed chamber. Nighty night. <laughs> I called this special move something. Here we go. What the hell, dude? This isn't even coffee. Drink. But this isn't drink. Okay. It's on the house. It better be. Huh. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. Got a lot of good advice. But it also means things. And not a small number of them, mind you. Need to be re rewritten. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that. Just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to my usual corner. Although, thanks to your drink. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to stay awake or not. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. Well, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. I have a little blue. Not to thank your subconscious then. I guess you should. Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lula. Hi, Bailey's. How? How? You first? No, you first. Dang, you both pretty stupid, huh? Can't even conversate. I'm just gonna ask. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Hmm. I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Keen. What are you having this evening, Miss Malua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Gingerbread coffee. Coffee. Ginger. That's wrong. Alright. Put my phone away so I can see you again. Right, here you go. Gingerbread coffee. That looks pretty good, actually. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this thing for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. Wow, you're just doing that, huh? How's work? I'm pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs at the moment because, well, you know. Yeah. I get it. You have nothing in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end. It kinda did. They paid me on time at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. What problems are those? I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Now you make Keaton who's standing in front of us? Not even Keaton. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume... Both of us were just tired. Knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. Right, I just... I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Bailey's... I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. 
thankfully. Hi. This won't affect. Oh. <laughs> and I am back. Huh. Due to unforeseen circumstances, I think I have to end after this day. But I think there's still a little bit left. Continuing on, though. At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. I mean, I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put a lot of masks just to hide the feelings I was going through. <coughs> that sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Bailey's? I don't know, Lua. Hi. I met some new people this week, including that supermodel. You knew? That girl in the corner told me. <coughs> yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? You said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know? Attitude-wise. You'd get along with him. I doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity brings breeds contempt. Ever heard of that before? A lot. From a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? I'm not sure, Bailey's. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? <clears throat> what are the odds, indeed. What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's? I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to make peace with my family. I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kinda hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do that anyway. For myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Huh? Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. No, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for ten years. You made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Bailey's. I. <clears throat> I believe in you. I 
I see. Lua. Bailey's. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. <clears throat> it seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow is Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. But you don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you for I think that's the word forbade you from dating other races. They're not being the fans of elves, that much is true, but you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow, but we can think about it. And anything else later. <clears throat> I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What <laughs> about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Is that Aqua or something? Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Keaton. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See ya. Thank you for coming. <coughs> Look better? That's pretty intense. Oh, you're back in real world. <laughs> Just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I had to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know? That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. I don't... That's a werewolf. Wait. Wait, what is it? Ah! It's tea. It's something, yeah. Tea, milk, ginger. Whoa, Freya, get over here. This wolf? Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? What was it again? Oh god. On. It's not letting me. On god. Tea, uh, what was it? Tea, milk, ginger. I'm glad I just looked at it. Oh god. Here's your. What the hell? Is that really him? I just seen the reaction to the drink. 100%. Well, whoever he is. I like this music. I wanted to see... 
This place arrived. Thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up shop early. I don't want to cause any more ruckus. I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See ya. Chai Adene. Sweet spicy chai latte from the town of Aden, Yemen. So that just happened. How many more days are left? Give me a second. I'm just gonna... gonna save. I'm gonna go to the main menu. How many days are left? Only three days left. It's interesting. Hmm. That shows a little character bubble. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like how there's like, Officer Georgie, Officer Georgie. Officer H Georgie again. That, nope, 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 nope. But yeah, I think that'll do it for today. Like I said, something did come up. So I have to kind of leave early. But I think this is fine. Maybe next time I'll try and finish it. So anyways... Thank you all for coming along this journey, and I will see you all later. Bye.